Toastmaster has always, uh, sorry, Toastmaster Shafiq is the next to go. A farmer calls him their CFO. He deals in drugs, <laughs> but he deserves a hug. As he wipes the sweat from his brow. Speakathon, speakathon, here it goes. Toastmaster Essen, please stand and depose. Thank you, Toastmaster Tala. I wish I could introduce him in a poetic way, but I can't. So, Toastmaster Mohammed Shafiq is breaking eyes, and the purpose of this statement is the same that he has to introduce himself to the club and learn the basic structure of something. His speech title is The Fortunate Guy. I, uh, please put your hands together for Toastmaster. <laughs> Thank you for the Toastmaster uh, and guest and thank you Mr. President for the kind words. On December 3rd, 1984, a child was born. The family was very happy as this was a child after an elder girl. They were living happily till one year. But then they realized that there is some problem in their child because he can't walk properly, he can't stand up properly. Soon after that, they displayed some patience and they started focusing on that kid. But the problem was still there and it becomes critical every day when there was no such response from that child. Can you feel the pain of those parents? Nobody can express the pain because they were like, why can't you walk, baby? Look at those kids who are walking. Why can't you? So thank you, Toastmasters. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention. It is not about me. <laughs> so on December 3rd, 1984, there were more than 365,000 kids who were born. So let me make it interesting for you from here on. So I'm, I believe I'm the most fortunate guy and today I'm going to tell you my story about the fortunate journey I have. But before I start, uh, let me ask a question. How many of you believe that you are the more fortunate person in this room than any other one in this room? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, four. Oh, that's good. That's a handful of numbers. Good. But today I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to make you jealous by displaying you how fortunate I am. I'm going to make you jealous that what achievements I have made so far. I'm also going to make you jealous by displaying you the fortunate journey I have been through. So Mr. Timer, please note that I'm not going to end until these people tell me that they are jealous of my achievements. <laughs> so let me start from my childhood. So I'm also one of those fortunate kids whose uh, parents are very proud of their childhood journey. I have the pleasure of messing up with all my neighbors and relatives. And I'm also one of those fortunate kids who have received a variety of punishment from their parents in maximum possible extent. So I'm uh, also blessed that I have received uh, a secretarial assistant at the age of two. People used to call me, call this kid as my bhai, but uh, I used to uh, engage him in all the course activities I'm responsible for. So I'm also those one of those fortunate guys uh, who have, uh, let's say, uh, a comment coming from relative that I have American springs in my body. I cannot calm myself. I cannot be phlegmatic. Uh, in, uh, in my daily uh, routine. So I think you are still not satisfied. Let me take you toward my educational achievements. I am a qualification, I am charter accountant by qualification, but uh, this achievement would not have been possible without the strong belief and uh, like uh, uh, strong support, moral support by my relatives and parents. My parents give me such a moral support, you can see that from the words my mom like, are you serious you are going to do the CA? Nobody have ever thought of BCom in our uh, whole khandan, jo bhi hai. Usme, uh, and uh, beside that, my, my sister was like, you have achieved B grade just by three numbers in intermediate and you are aspiring for CA. See, 
those kind of fortunate people I have and their belief made me possible what I am today, my qualification. Thanks a lot for all the support granted by those uh, uh, relatives of mine. Let me tell you about my family fortune. How can a family be complete without a life partner? I have been such a loving, caring, and uh, wonderful uh, life partner. Uh, I have never expressed her love and care in front of a larger audience. But today I'm going to express without her support, without her love, I would not have been today what I am today. So thanks to, to my life partner, and you can understand, I can also relate to the innocent smile of all those married <laughs> men here. <laughs> <coughs> hunger I can also feel from your smile as well. But you need to understand that she's aware I have to make a speech today. She's also aware that we have a video recording festival. <laughs> so I think you still <coughs> seems not to be satisfied. So let me take you toward my financial fortune. I'm one of those blessed guys who have invested at stock market when the index was at 53,000. Today we are missing Mr. Aukit as our broker, otherwise he could have relayed to that fortune. Today actually the, the index just closed at 37,000. So I've lost almost nearly 13,000 index. I'm also one of those fortunate guys who has invested in uh, Bahia Town. I think I will not comment further on it, but I have the most luckiest location in Bahia Town as well. Bahia Town has 44 percent and I have the pleasure of having a plot in the prison 44, <laughs> which is just close to to uh, hub there near Balochistan. <laughs> and this is not the end of it. I have the most luckiest view of that plot in front of my plot, as per Bahia Town map released by them. There is a Kabristan, you can call it. <laughs> so you see, the destiny is just nearby. <laughs> So thanks a lot. This was all on a lighter note. I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful to Allah for all the greatness I have. So uh, I cannot express my gratitude by expressing thankness in my whole life to Allah. Thanks a lot for all the support. This was all on a lighter note. Thank you. That was so surprisingly eloquent. <laughs> and you tell me you're a chartered accountant? <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters and guests, now it is my utmost pleasure to announce that we are breaking for tea and prayers. Please reconvene here after 10 minutes. That's wishful thinking, but at least make it 15 minutes <laughs> so that we can continue on schedule. Thank you so much. Thank you.